Do you know how to make a paper airplane? I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus and I'm actually not very good at making paper airplanes. At least not airplanes that can fly very well or very far, but I can show you a paper airplane object lesson that uses a pretty cool trick to teach kids about faith. If you like this idea, you can visit kidsenjoyingjesus.com to get more tips and tools to help you teach Bible truths to kids. If you wanted to go somewhere far away, how would you get there? Maybe you'd take a car. Can you pretend to drive a car? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you'd take a train. Can you make some train noises? <laughs> woo woo! Maybe you'd take a boat. Can you pretend to row, row, row your boat wherever you want to go? Or maybe you'd take an airplane. Can you make your hand go through the air like an airplane? <laughs> now these things can take you a long way. But there is somewhere they can't take you. They can't take you closer to God. The Bible says, but your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God. Iniquities is another word for sin. Sin separates us from God. So I'm gonna write sin right here on my little piece of paper. Now sin is anything you think say or do that disobeys God, the things God says not to do. You sin whenever your parents tell you to do something and you say, no, I'm not gonna do that. You sin whenever your parents tell you to do something and you say, Ugh! and you maybe cross your arms and make a really nasty face and maybe you don't actually say no and maybe you actually do it, but you still are disobeying in your heart and with your mouth and with your face and with your actions. Those things are sin. We all sin with our attitudes, our words, and our actions because we're all born wanting to sin against God. And sin separates us from God. It's a really big deal. Now, people have tried to make their own way back to God. For a really long time, people have been trying to build their own way back to God. So we're gonna take this piece of paper and pretend that we're building our own way back to God. So some people think they can build their own way back to God by just doing lots and lots of good things. They think if they do enough good things that will get rid of their sin so they can be with God. They do good things like going to church and helping others or being baptized. Now those are good things, right? Those are good things. In fact, the Bible talks about them, but those things do not get us closer to God. Other people try to do good things like giving money to the poor or just being really, 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 really nice. Now those are good things, but they don't get you closer to God. You can't build your own way to God. It makes about as much sense as thinking you can build a magic airplane that can get you to God. Would that work? No, that would not work at all. I can build a paper airplane and I could even say it was a super special airplane. I could even say it was a magic airplane or whatever I wanted to say. But whatever I do, that special paper airplane can't get the sin out of my life. It can't get me close to God and neither can anything else that I would do. In fact, the Bible says that our own righteousness, the good things we do on our own to try to make our own way to God is like garbage. It's worthless compared to how perfect, pure and good God is. We can't do anything to make our own way to God. God looks at all the stuff that people try to do to get to him on their own and he says, it's worthless. It can't get people to God. The only way to be saved from our sin and to get to God is through faith. The Bible says, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works so that no one may boast. We are saved from our sin through faith. There is nothing we can do or earn or build to make our own way to God. We have to have faith that God has already done all the work for us. Faith means believing who God is and what he says even when we can't see it. God says he sent Jesus to save us and he wants us to believe it. The Bible says, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. This means that Jesus died on the cross, gave his life and gave his blood for us. And then he came back to life to make the way for us to be close to God instead of being far away from him. Now you didn't see Jesus die on the cross, neither did I. You didn't see Jesus come back from the dead, neither did I. 
You must have faith by believing Jesus really died and really came alive again to save you from sin. If you've never believed in Jesus to save you from sin, you can choose to be close to God through faith by realizing your sin keeps you apart from him and believing in Jesus to save you today. Now you're probably wondering how I did that trick to turn a paper airplane into a cross. I'm going to show you how to do it. So pause this video if you need to and grab a piece of paper and I'm going to teach you how to do it because I want you to be able to use your airplane to tell someone else that having faith in Jesus as your savior is the only way to get to God. Let's get started. I found that the first couple times you do this trick, it can be really helpful to have a table or other flat surface in front of you to hold your paper while you make sure you get all these folds done correctly. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab one of the corners and fold it down to the other side. So line that up really nice and then just hold it down. So it forms sort of a triangle, almost a triangle. And then you're going to grab the top corner of that almost triangle and pull it down to the other side, exactly where that other piece had folded down. So now you fold that down and you have a little house, at least I think it looks kind of like a little house. Isn't it cute? And while you're doing this, you're gonna talk about how we can't build our own way to God. We can't get to God on our own. And now you're gonna take this house shape and fold it in half. And this part is almost like what you do building a normal paper airplane. Just fold that in half. So once again, you took that house shape and just folded it in half on top of itself. And now it's time to make the wings. And this is where it gets a little bit different. You just take that first wing and fold it over. It looks totally normal. But now when you get ready to do the next wing, you're gonna notice you've got this extra little horn there. <laughs> it's like a little baby unicorn. And you're going to grab that with the wing and fold it down too. You don't want that sticking up in the middle. Now, if you look closely, you'll see it's still there. I just keep it folded down with the wings so you really can't see it. But this is the trick. This is the part that makes this into a cross when you unfold it. So you just fold it down with the wing, fold those wings down good and hard, and now you've got a paper airplane. This airplane actually doesn't fly very well because of the way it's made. But the way airplanes fly reminds me of another lesson about faith. Real airplanes can fly because as their engines push them through the air, the air flows over and under their wings to create a force called lift that holds the airplane up. You can't see the air lifting the airplane up and most people can't even explain how it works. I didn't explain it very well because I don't understand it super well, but we believe it's there holding the airplane up. We believe the air is holding the airplane up even though we can't see it. Believing and trusting something you can't see is called faith. God wants you to have faith to believe and trust him even when you can't see what he's doing. I memorized a verse that says, and without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. We can't live the way God wants us to without having faith. Having faith like this doesn't just save me from sin, it changes my whole life. The Bible tells us how faith in God has changed lives of people like Noah, Abraham, Moses, and many others. In fact, after you watch this video, you can get your Bible and read Hebrews chapter 11 with your family. You'll find out about these people and many others who lived by faith. You'll also read about how faith in God got these people through some really crazy hard times. Many of these people had their lives torn apart, which is exactly what we're going to do next with our airplane. You're gonna grab the wings right up here where you folded them down, and you're going to tear them off. Tear it down right along the line, the crease that you made whenever you folded them down. Now it looks like we're totally wrecking the plane, but without doing this, we could never turn it into something even better. Now maybe you've been feeling scared or sad because life has been difficult or really hard for you right now. But even when life looks really bad or ruined, you can have faith that God is still in control and he still cares and he is still working even when you can't see how. Now it looks like we totally just wrecked the airplane. In fact, now I like to take the wings and crumple them up and just throw it away because I wanna make it look like we just totally ruined this thing. But, when you open it up, 
you will see that we didn't actually ruin it. We made it into something better. It's now shaped like a cross to remind us about Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross, it was terrible, bad, and awful. But God was working in a way people couldn't see. He used the death of Jesus to make the way for us to be saved from sin and enjoy life with God that lasts forever. When my life is hard and bad things happen to me, the cross reminds me to have faith that God is wise and powerful enough to use terrible, bad, sad, horrible things to do awesome, amazingly epic, good things. The Bible says, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that is set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Remembering what happened to Jesus on the cross can help you have faith that God really is who he says he is and he will really do all that he says he'll do, even when you don't understand exactly how he's doing it. You can have faith that God is who he says he is and he does what he says he will do. I hope this simple airplane trick will help you remember to have faith in God. And I hope you'll share this airplane trick with other people and give this video a thumbs up. I also hope you watch more of our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're a parent, pastor, or Sunday school teacher, you should also visit kidsenjoyingjesus.com for more ideas and resources to help you teach Bible truths to kids. Thanks for watching.